Hey, this is Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy, Healthy Begin. Well, super me, huh? People have been just writing us to, yes. to, to talk about Like this they comment on every video is, what are you guys going to talk about super beat? And we heard you. We actually been wanting to talk about this ever since the story came out about a week or so ago. Just haven't got around to it. It's on our list and here we are hitting it yeah, up Yeah, right our to-do now. list has been pretty crazy. The um, few weeks. Yeah, because uh, this weekend we're having a huge like 100 person uh, meetup in San Diego for this guy's birthday. And we just released Keep It Car Baby last night, and there's just been a lot of work going on around here. So, um, we have done some research, though, and we're ready to, I guess, chime in with our opinion, which doesn't seem to converge with other people's yeah, but opinions for we, some reason. Before we do that, let's just show you a tiny clip of what super meat actually is. It's real meat that tastes and feels like meat because it is real meat without harming animals. How is it done? Well, here's our science guy to explain. Our technology allows us to expand cells isolated from a small tissue biopsy taken without hurting the animals. We organize these cells into minuscule tissues and place them in a unique environment that is designed to perfectly mimic animal physiology, allowing those small tissues to organically grow into large muscles, essentially just like they do in nature. I actually found a uh, blog by a guy named Keith Berger that gets a little bit more into the process of the uh, tissue extraction. Yes, yeah, it says the, the current process for creating cultured meat involves the use of fetal calf serum, a product obtained by sticking a needle in the still beating heart of calf fetuses removed from cows who are pregnant at slaughter. So as far as this being cruelty free, it really comes down to does super meat use serum to make their products? We are not using animal serum. Other groups are using animal serum, we are not. So we're no longer using serum in any significant amount in my lab. Uh, that's not saying that we're not using animal serum at all. So it sounds like they're moving towards a zero serum process. So hopefully that's the case and there'll be zero animal suffering in this process. What's got me and many other people stoked though, is that there are some big advantages of, of super meat compared to traditional means of raising meat. Environmental advantages are the main ones. It takes up way less land, uh, way fewer greenhouse gases, forests don't get destroyed as much. Just the food safety benefits alone, no longer worrying about Salmonella, E. coli, what about bird flu? Talking about the pandemic risk. And it could potentially prevent the needless killing of billions of animals every year. But uh, I thought that this is going to be quite far down the road. Yeah, their best projections to actually get this food into the marketplace is 2021. That's wow. five years away. Wow. Yeah, and that's probably their like best guess. Yeah, you best know, usually scenario. Usually things take longer than people you know, are hoping in their fundraising portion. And let's not forget, this is still meat we're talking about, animal protein. Yeah, with all the intended negative health issues that go along with eating animal products, such as, you know, the cholesterol, the saturated fat, and all the diseases that go hand in hand with a diet high in animal products. As for me, I don't see the point in supporting a startup cultured meat company when there's already some great companies right now producing awesome plant-based food. Beyond Meat, let's start with them first because yeah. they're the most direct competitor, I think, to super meat. They offer a burger that's almost indistinguishable from real meat. In fact, it even bleeds like real meat does by their inclusion of beets in the process. It's made of pea protein. Yet the juicy patty sizzles, it turns from red to brown on the grill, and it crumbles in your mouth just like the real thing. So we've studied the composition of meat. We've studied exactly what makes you want meat, what makes meat satiating for you, what makes meat nutritionally valuable for you. And we've gone out and found those in the plant kingdom and we put them in the same architecture as meat. And by the way, that was their Beyond Burger product, which is brand new. It's being rolled out this summer across supermarkets, and you find it in the meat department, in the refrigerated meat aisle. Oh, that is so crazy. Yeah, we only got to try like the predecessor. We the haven't frozen gotten to one. try this one yet, but our friend Conscious Chris got a hold of some. And uh, he actually did a video cooking it and feeding it to non vegans. And uh, Chris said it was scarily realistic. <laughs> and similarly, Hampton Creek, Josh Tetrick, the CEO, is killing it in the egg replacement world. Not only are we the top selling mayo in Whole Foods today, we're blowing it out in Costco. 
we're in Safeway. We're even launching, Jim, with the Dollar Tree. This for us is about accessibility. This for us is about saying that good food shouldn't just be for people that make over six figures. And he's coming up with a new scrambled egg product. And for us, this is about being an independent company. All right, it's about standing tall and it's about, it's about changing the world. Shoot, man, it's good! <laughs> You're so excited about that egg product's not out yet. It looks but, so good. But we've been eating eggs from Follow Your Heart for like months now, and it's really good, and it's very reminiscent of eggs. And I'm just saying that there's all these amazing plant-based alternatives, really high tech. They've put a lot of time and effort into making them as healthy as possible and as environmentally friendly as possible. So if I'm gonna put my money towards something, it's gonna be towards vegan products completely vegan from start to finish. And I wanna say I fully realize that super meat is not intended for vegans. It's intended for everyone else, people that just won't give up meat for whatever reason. We actually are doing this not for people that are interested in sort of a vegan diet. We're not going after vegans or vegetarians. We're going after people who want to change their diet by reducing meat consumption. For those people, yeah, I, I think super meat is a good idea, assuming they actually eat it. <laughs> I feel like this is a technology that they're actually developing for use on Mars, you know, because they're not going to bring cattle to Mars. So they figure <laughs> out, how are we going to keep eating meat when we're on Mars? We better figure something out. <laughs> I wish I'd just go vegan then. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Just go vegan. So anyway, leave your questions and comments down below. What's your opinion of super meat? Is it gonna save the planet or are there better ways to do that? Also, like this video if you're into it, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more vegan content here at Happy Healthy Vegan. And until Til next, next time, time, oh, keep, keep it, it carb, carb, baby, keep, keep it, it carb. carb. The ebook is out now, shop.happyhealthyvegan.org. First, I felt like I was gonna fart like as soon as you hit play or record. I felt like I was gonna fart, and now I feel like my eyes watering. It's just like oh. it's the extra here. <laughs> no. Uh.